To use essential oil for dog breath, you should dilute it based on the dog's weight. Small dogs under 20 pounds should be treated similarly to a human infant or toddler. For larger dogs, use dilutions similar to those for humans. Medium dogs between 25 and 50 pounds can tolerate more or less than large dogs up to 100 pounds. Always use common sense when applying essential oils to dogs. However, small dogs should be handled with care. What are essential oils? There are a few important things to keep in mind when using essential oils for your dog's breath. First, you should not use undiluted essential oils, as these can be harmful. Instead, look for pure therapeutic grade essential oils. These are produced without the use of solvents and do not contain any chemicals. However, they are more expensive and are rarely used in pet products. If you're considering using essential oils for your dog's breath, you should check with your veterinarian first. If you're considering using essential oils for your dog's breath, you should know that they're potent and need to be diluted in water before you use them. Some oils, such as peppermint, may even be harmful to your dog if used excessively. If you're worried about the risk of poisoning, be sure to talk to your veterinarian first. Essential oils for dog breath can also worsen some underlying medical conditions. Moreover, they should not be used in case of poisoning or allergic reaction in your dog. When you're using essential oils on your dog's breath, remember that the scents can cause gastrointestinal upset, vomiting, or seizures. In addition to causing unpleasant breath in dogs, essential oils can also cause central nervous system and behavioral issues. To keep your dog as safe as possible, never leave the essential oils in your dog's reach, especially if you're not sure what you're doing. If your dog does get ingested, contact your veterinarian immediately. If you don't have a veterinarian, call the local poison control center and report the incident. It's important to remember that essential oils for humans can have harmful effects on dogs. Therefore, be sure to dilute the essential oils before applying them to your dog's breath. And remember that you should never use pure essential oils on your dog. Even if they're considered safe to use, you should always consult a vet first. Peppermint, for example, is very potent and can be dangerous for your dog. Properties of essential oils If you're looking for ways to freshen your dog's breath, you can try using one of the many essential oils. Dogs are particularly sensitive to smells, so it's important to be cautious when using any new products on your dog. Essential oils differ in their effects on different pets. One oil may be safe for dogs, but your cat may not react as well. Cat-sensitive stomachs make them more susceptible to allergies and respiratory issues, and the scent in your dog may actually be harmful to their system. Although essential oils are derived from plants, they can still be harmful to dogs. For example, a calming essential oil could upset your dog's stomach and result in an emergency trip to the vet. It's also best to keep essential oils out of your dog's reach, since some may react badly with certain medications and cause other problems. Essential oils can also be highly effective in improving digestion. Essential oils are easy to find in a health food store. They're highly concentrated and undiluted, which means they have an instant impact on your dog's system.
Other essential oils that are known to improve a dog's breath are frankincense, rosemary, and tea tree oil. They all have similar benefits but can be a little more or less powerful. Frankincense essential oil is mild and is a good choice if you're new to using essential oils for dogs. It helps increase blood flow, reduce nervousness, improve the immune system, and is known to relieve pain associated with external ulcers. Many claims that frankincense helps fight cancer. The use of essential oils in dogs is safe as long as you follow a few guidelines. Always remember to dilute any essential oils in water or carrier oil, as pure essential oils may cause skin irritation, and concentrated oils can be toxic if licked off or eaten. Dog breath treatment with essential oils should not be attempted without consulting your vet. Your dog will thank you. They will enjoy the freshness of their breath. Cause of bad dog breath Regardless of breed, dogs can suffer from a bad breath problem known as halitosis. While many dogs put everything in their mouths, a doggy kiss can signal the presence of halitosis. Although most cases of bad breath in dogs will clear up in a few days, persistent halitosis may signal something more serious. If your dog's breath smells foul, seek medical attention immediately. Some of the most common causes of bad dog breath are oral health problems such as tooth decay or gum disease. If your dog does not have a regular dental cleaning, bacteria and food debris will accumulate in his mouth. This plaque can lead to persistent bad breath. When left untreated, this problem can lead to further health problems and can even be fatal. Fortunately, a few simple changes can be made to help your pooch breathe fresher and longer. Regardless of the reason for the smell, a change in your dog's breath is never normal. It can be a sign of a broader health problem, such as diabetes or periodontal disease. In either case, a visit to the vet will help rule out more serious issues. In addition to visiting your veterinarian regularly, your dog should have a dental cleaning at least once a year. Ultimately, you should be aware of the different causes of bad dog breath in order to properly treat them. The best course of treatment for bad dog breath involves brushing your dog's teeth. Especially young dogs, make sure to teach them to brush their teeth properly. Dental chews and food specially made for dog dental health are also effective alternatives. Ask your vet for recommendations if you're not sure. By keeping your dog's oral health in check, you can prevent the development of diseases such as liver and kidney disease and prevent the onset of bad breath. If you notice your dog has bad breath, visit a vet to get diagnosed. If the cause is medical, a veterinarian can treat it to eliminate the symptoms. Treatment can include medication, surgery, and a home remedy. Brushing your dog's teeth regularly, ensuring your dog gets a dental cleaning on time, and keeping your dog away from foods and other things that cause bad breath are just a few ways to prevent the problem. Best Essential Oil for Dog Breath Essential Oils are becoming increasingly popular in the last couple of years due to their powerful antibacterial, antifungal, and antioxidant properties. Dogs are extremely sensitive to these ingredients, so it's important to know the pros and cons of using these products on your pooch. There are a few factors to consider before using essential oils, including their price, effectiveness, and potential for side effects. For starters, you should always consult your veterinarian before using any essential oil. If your pooch shows any symptoms of poisoning or allergy, discontinue using the essential oil immediately. 
First, it is important to note that some essential oils are harmful to animals, and some are completely safe for use on dogs. They should be diluted before application, and you should always check with your vet before administering any type of essential oil. Peppermint, for example, is very potent and could irritate your dog's stomach or skin. Therefore, you should dilute essential oils before applying them to your pitch's mouth. If you're worried that a certain scent might make your dog uncomfortable, avoid using essential oils on puppies under 10 weeks of age. Older dogs, toy dogs, and pregnant dogs are particularly sensitive to these oils. Use safe essential oils such as peppermint, ginger, helichrysum, and myrrh, which are antibacterial and antiviral. When selecting an essential oil, make sure to read the manufacturer's instructions carefully before deciding which one to use. Another essential oil that can help your dog overcome halitosis is peppermint. Peppermint oil can be safely used on dogs, but you should dilute essential oils before applying them directly to your pitch's mouth. It's important to remember that essential oils are potent and should be diluted with plenty of water to prevent a reaction. You can also sprinkle it in your dog's water bowl each morning. Next best essential oil for dog licking paws legal and medical disclaimer information provided on the site is for educational purposes only, and does not substitute for professional medical advice. You must consult a medical professional or healthcare provider if seeking medical advice, diagnoses, or treatment. We do not provide any medical advice. Essential Oils Marketplace Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.